What are we doing when everything is bleeding? Let's talk about that for a bit. What's up, YouTube? Welcome to Alcoin Picks. We're back with another segment. We're just talking today. Let's face it, news out there isn't cutting it, and it won't make any sense for us to make another video about news without talking about what's actually going on right now, at least to the sentiment of why are we still in crypto? Because if you look back six months, the only thing that has happened is anyone holding altcoins or pretty much Bitcoin, as a matter of fact, has just been bleeding. So why are we still around in this space and that's one of the things we want to talk about today and the reason why is because if you are like me or probably lots of folks out there you do spend a lot of time doing research and if you spend time doing research then news isn't good and we're we're gonna just i'm just gonna show you a little bit about why it's so dangerous for you to do research because this is what you end up getting stuck on. Let's take a look. So I'm going to get some of these articles from just one news source from Crypto Daily. And I do have to admit they have a lot of great content, but we're just gonna go and do a fast chronological order of events. So I'm looking at the news from August 14 last year. Cryptocurrency market rises about 126 billion for the first time ever and we're talking about less than one year's time and look that even after this massive crash the total market cap is almost twice as much as even one year ago so if you were to ask me where can this market be headed it's safe to say it can go up or down or sideways but there is still a lot of room to go down but let's just keep looking at some of these other predictions and this is one of the issues that you're gonna see so much in this market. You're gonna see Ripple could hit $5 with Coinbase listing. You're gonna see Cardano to hit $100 by 2018. You're gonna see predictions from Bitcoin in April at $64,000. And we're talking about Cliff High, someone very respectable in the cryptocurrency space. I, I would say that, that any guess at this point is as good as any just because of such so many articles out there someone will be right and the question is will you take someone's advice or would you use your instinct i mean the the articles just keep going from better to greater now this is bitcoin will, will replace dollar and gold and these were all in the beginning stages where it just looked like bitcoin will just probably do a little correction and just start going crazy again and then now these are the ugly articles here's the first one monthly fall could close below six thousand dollars and it could trigger a long-term bear trend a lot of people out there are saying that we are not even in a bear market yet this is just a consolidation period this is just a correction from that massive price movement but then let's look at this other one the bitcoin might not breach 10k in the next bull run and they talk a bit about a little bit about about why but that's even besides the point a lot of people are thinking that bitcoin might even close the end of the year at 50k if you if you go online it's just there there's predictions after predictions and then there's this other one this is even darker with bitcoin futures trading bitcoin might never they use the word never surge again and they do actually have some good pointers where you don't necessarily need to buy Bitcoin anymore to suppress the price increase. So these are the type of things that happens is where do you get your news? Who do you trust? Do you just go back to your fundamentals? Do you, do you read a course? Do you just believe in blockchain and all the cryptocurrency altcoins that you've purchased do you just sit on them do you huddle these are this, this these are tough decisions because even if you are investing money you can afford to lose can we really afford to see an entire market behave this way 
So this is it guys. This was just a short video talking about how honestly at these levels is news weedy making you make choices because at the, at these levels being a contrarian might actually be either for the positive or for the negative. What what are you what are you getting from these levels? Is this a trap? Is this just the beginning of what could just be a massive disaster it's just any guess is as good as any the prof there's professional traders out there that they can't chart this there is just nothing to chart there's no comparison out there there is no market that has ever moved this fast and as much as someone has interest for Bitcoin when you can manipulate a price of something and shift someone's interest the price will go there and uh, no matter how much no matter how much we research all coins. There is no altcoin in the market that can survive Bitcoin's rat at this point. So we will always continue to provide a good ICO research. We will always check out coins. We will always look at what's going on and push out some news. But there is so much positive news out there that if I were to show it, I, it would just look like it didn't matter because Bitcoin prices will still continue to go down or be manipulated at these levels. So what are you guys doing? Are you guys trading? Are you guys margin trading? Are you guys shorting? I don't know. But at, the, at these levels, it is always good to be playing safe because even if you had made massive profits, these are, these are the times that maybe it is always good to lock in some of those profits that maybe you can buy the dip. I am also one of the, the folks that you might hate because I sold some of my positions so I can buy the dip. So I'm driving the prices of some of these altcoins down myself. So it's safe to say maybe the entire space is at blame for the situation of the market. But why don't you guys leave a comment down below and you'll, if you like and subscribe to this video, maybe the next video we'll be making something a little new, maybe something a little bit more positive instead of just this conscientious video talking about like what you should be doing or should be thinking because at this point, you're the only one that can protect what you have made and the decisions you've chosen to be in this space because... If you came into crypto looking to get rich quick, this was a very bad turn of events. So I hope you can huddle your coins or increase your positions because it could get a little uglier. But thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time.